Hello Leapers, heading out to Costa Rica January next year. My name is Millie and I have got the job of overseeing all the planning involved to get you there and back in one piece. So I've put together this, this very long email, I'm so sorry that's just landed in your inbox, but at the same time as I've been putting it together, I'm thinking of all the questions that you might be you might be posing around your kitchen table. So to nail it, <coughs> to answer those questions, I'm going to I've created this little video, really creating this little video to rattle through trying to preempt what you're thinking, the type of decisions you might be making to just explain the reasoning of and what, what how, how to approach it. At the same time, I'm going to rattle, I'm going to rattle, first of all, rattle through this email. Then I'm going to, um, the second half of the video, uh, touching on subjects such as money, health and safety, team dynamics, kit, traveling on afterwards. Okay, so grab a coffee like I have. Let's start with the email. Step one, basic admin. Okay, have a read of the attached itinerary to the email to remind yourself of the adventure. Now you will see we've thrown in maybe a couple of um, little treats in there just to kind of, it helps with the logistics. People in Costa Rica have raised their hands saying, can you come and help us? Like ASVO, the Turtle Sanctuary. So you will see that you're, you've got a very dynamic, gorgeous, fantastic, exciting itinerary ahead of you. There are four teams heading out um, to Costa Rica in January, all staggered, so you won't see each other. Apart from the two Plastic Oceans teams, I think you're going to see each other for about five days at Santa Teresa, which will be fun. The rest of you will all be independent, going around the country. It's like building a jigsaw. Anyway, we've done it, and it's all great. So have a read of your itinerary. Remind yourself of what you're, getting, what you're heading off into. Two, complete your personal details in your My Leap area. Now, this is really important, okay? Please, when it comes to the physical and mental health issues, reveal all, okay? Even if you don't think it's important, it might be important to us. If you don't think your nut allergy is important, it so is. Mental health issues, anxiety, um, friendship issues, social issues, just put it down. I know most of you are just, you know, won't have anything to say in that box, but if there is, please, please tell us because we need to be able to support you overseas and do a good job. So um, we need the information. Complete the reference contact details. That's quite important. Don't go putting a friend. Could you put somebody who has, a, a, someone from school, that would be really, really helpful. Injections. Okay, have a look in my leap. Now, clearly, I'm not a doctor, but a lot of people ring up saying, what about the rabies? All I can say is in 30 years of doing overseas expeditions and adventures, we've never had a rabies um, incident. Um, and the other question, the other thing that's important to know is when you're on a LEAP program, you are always about two hours away from a hospital. So should the worst case happen and a rabid animal came running out of the woods, then um, you are close to a hospital. But traveling on independently. Now, I don't know how adventurous you are. If you are thinking of going up to the Belize jungle and going, you know, you know going to spend weeks, you know, down in the jungle, then maybe you do need it. So please think LEAP programme and what you're gonna do afterwards. COVID injections, okay, your COVID vax. It is imperative that you are fully vaxxed to join this programme, okay? And it's not because of us, it's because Costa Rica have now laid down this law that as of the beginning of January, you have to be fully vaxxed to enter anywhere other than a supermarket. So it needs to be done. For those of you out of personal choice, there's nothing I can do. It has to be done. If you don't want to do it, then talk to us. I know the girls have, all, all, have already emailed you about this. If you don't want to do it through personal choice, then we're gonna to have to move you to somewhere like Kenya. If it's on medical grounds, again, 
I tend to, I am worried because it's a new law being introduced in January, there will be a lot of confusion overseas about, you know, really, so it's just best to not take the risk, okay? Kit list in my leap. Everything in there is there for a reason. Please take it, okay? And, you know, when people can think they need a pair, it says a pair of trainers, don't take trendy, gorgeous, brown, box fresh white trainers. They're going to get trashed. And when you're walking in the jungle and you're looking at your trainers, um, could you take something which has got a little bit of grip? You know, it is slippery, slippery surfaces in there and um, a bit of grip is really important. Okay, but things like the head torch, the day backpack, the water bottle. You'd be amazed how many people forget a water bottle. Um, a day rucksack really really important so look at that kit list and take everything you need flights okay now this is really important we are going a bit earlier than we usually do with your flights but good news british airways have launched a, a new um resumed their direct flight from gatwick to san jose we can't miss out and it's at a really good price. Annoyingly, they only fly on a Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, not a Friday. So what we're doing, the adventure lot, we want you to go on the Thursday flight. The Plastic Oceans lot, you're going on the Sunday, okay? So look at these flights, get them booked quickly before the prices go up. Now, some of you might be at home thinking, I'm sitting on lots of British Airways credits, and you know, you've got you know, platinum gold cards everywhere. Yes, you can use those if you book it direct through the BA website, but please bear in mind that we really want it to be an open return. It's valid for 12 months and you can reroute and redate that return part of the ticket. That is key. I'll explain why in a minute. If you go direct to the BA flight, remember you're not going to speak to a human being. We personally, if you can bear it, recommend you go through Trail Finders. They have been dealing with all our flights for the last year. And my goodness, have we, we worked tirelessly with them. They are awesome. And if the date needs changing, if the, the route needs changing, they are on it. And you speak to a human being, which in today's world, that is worth so much. So the corporate team are ready to get this book for you and ready to help you navigate the ever-changing worlds of flights. Which let me tell you, we will book this flight at the price that we recommend, you know, that it's roughly, when I look got the prices on Friday, those were the prices. Come Monday, Tuesday, next week, it could go up or down, you know, by 20, 20 quid, you know, that type of thing. Um, now, a lot of you have asked me this question, but I don't know if I want to come home. You know, I might go travelling on afterwards. OK, that is absolutely fine. And this is how you're going to approach that um, scenario. The golden rule right now to enter any country is you have to arrive with proof of leaving that country by air. Not by bus, not by lorry, not by anything, but by train. By air, OK? To enter and leave any countries it is highly recommended to do it by, and actually imperative to do it by an international airport. Therefore, if you buy this British Airways ticket in and out, okay, in line with your programme, simple, you get into Costa Rica. When you're in Costa Rica and you've made all your new friends, then you will decide, okay, we wanna go traveling on, we wanna go up to Guatemala, Mexico, or maybe South, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador. Very easy to do. And you will be nagged by me in the second to last week of your programme to tell us what your plans are. So, so that the admin team, that's being me, backed up with all your parents back at home, can deal with the logistics, which will involve if, for example, you want to go from Costa Rica with your new friends to Guatemala and Mexico, then that British Airways return flight will be rerouted and re routed and redated out of Mexico home. You will then buy, while you're in Costa Rica, an internal flight from Costa Rica to Guatemala, Guatemala to Mexico. And those internal flights via Valores 
are about, I, I would say about that, I care, $100, $150 each. But you will do that when you're out there, when you've made your new friends, when you've made a plan. But right now, all we need is to focus on is getting you into Costa Rica. And this is the cheapest, best way logistically to do it. And trust me, we've been doing it all year and it works. Okay, so everyone happy with that? That, that, that kind of throws over because I know none of you want to come home straight after this programme. And I don't blame you. Why would you want to come back to England? Um, or go home Europe and America when it's freezing cold. Okay, so that's the flights. Step three, entry requirements for Costa Rica. You will get, in fact, in anywhere in Central and South America, a 90 day tourist visa on arrival. Okay, you don't need a COVID test to enter Costa Rica. So you just hop on that plane. But what we really want you to do is to do a couple of antigen tests, home antigen tests the week before you fly and not go to kind of massive raves and put yourself at risk because we really want you to be healthy. We really don't want you to be taking asymptomatic COVID over to Costa Rica. So please, can you be mindful? I know it's after New Year, I know, but just be mindful and respectful to the team. If you are feeling ill, don't go. We just change your flight and you catch up. You go a week later. So it is not a train smash. But what is a train smash is you taking COVID out there and all goes pear-shaped in week one, which we want to avoid. Two days before departure, you will do your health pass QR code. But again, I will send you a reminding email and the right link to do that. Um, and again and again and again, you all need to be double vaxxed. Remember, when it comes to your vaccinations, that second vax needs to be done greater than 14 days before you fly out. That also is key. Invoicing, right, step four. We will send you the invoice in the next couple of weeks. There is no rush with that. Um, it, uh, Zoe's away this week. Actually, she's away for two weeks, so it's all down to the lovely Liv to get that out. Um, remember, if you don't go for any COVID reasons and your insurance doesn't cover COVID cancellation, then we will refund you minus £150 deposit. But that also is transferable to any other LEAP programme or LEAP VIP. Okay? Please do not pay by the online Stripe facility in your MyLeap. Please don't do that. They charge us through the nose and it's just much easier to do it by backs. Should you be refunded, it comes straight back by backs and there are just no hidden charges. So please, please do that. Step five, insurance. Okay, listen up. This is really important, okay? Golden rule with insurance. If the Foreign Office says, you, you know, we recommend that you don't go to this country, then that insurance policy is null and void. OK, key, key, key. So you've got to keep an eye on that. But right now they have dropped all that. There are no red lists. So we are sitting in a position of, well, I'm sitting in a position kind of, kind of distrusting, slightly uneasy, thinking, is this real or is this not? But let's go with what we do know today. It isn't on the red list and the Foreign Office says we could go. Therefore, you can buy any insurance, but we are recommending this Campbell Irvine insurance because it's really good value and Guy has done his due diligence. We've used them before. If there was an accident, their repatriation facilities are really good um, and their, their organisation for that is good. And sadly, we have tested that a few times in the past and if that does happen we definitely get involved with the repatriation of injured sick um, uh, leaper and it's really helpful that you use someone who's really good please don't go buy cheap insurance that comes from you know, that who's overseas you know whose repatriation facilities are based in uh, New Zealand trust me it's happened before it was a disaster anyway Campbell Irvine are really good. If, and you will see, hold on, if you purchase, you've got two types of purchase policies to do. So you can do 
I'm not going to go into the to, into into that level of detail because I'll get you all confused. But read it. What type of policy you want? Single trip or our annual multi trip? I think most of you want the single trip because it can be extended once or overseas, and that gives you the full flexibility. But if you think if you are going to go totally off grid and you know, while you are away, a country goes onto the red list, then you will need to jump and buy the battle face, battle face policy because they are the only um, company that covers you against foreign office um, advice. OK, so that's really key to have in your mind. All the links are there for you. And if you use our links and it goes onto our register and then we can we we kind of can access things while you are away. For the US, we recommend you use iNext. They are really good and cover everything on our LEAP program and, you know, independent traveling. Please give them a call because what they like to do is add to your existing home medical cover. Most people buy the platinum policy, but we can't get to grips with the American. Um, every single one of you in America has a different type of uh, medical insurance. So it's best you talk to them direct to explain it. They're brilliant. OK, so that is that admin to back up this email. While I've got you, OK, I'm just going to go through a couple of other things that people ask about. Money, OK? I'm telling you now, Costa Rica is expensive. There's no getting around it, OK? But you can make choices. When you're in Santa Teresa or in any of the towns, yes, you can turn left and go to the really nice sushi and cocktail bars. Oh, yeah, they look great. George Clooney, he's often there. But they're going to fleece you $10 for a cocktail. Please turn right and go to the local restaurants where everybody who's local chooses to go to. Yes, it's a bit of pinto and beans and a bit of music, but it's going to be a lot cheaper and kinder on your cards. Don't try and get the local currency out before you go. There are ATMs everywhere to do that in Costa Rica. Take Monzo Revolut. Now they do work, those Monzo Revolut cards, but occasionally we get, we get kind of um, problems with them. So it's imperative to take a backup debit card as well. Okay, health and safety. Now COVID, we all know about COVID. Be all double vaxxed and that's fantastic. And the rules and regulations in Costa Rica like here, if one gets, co if one gets COVID, um, does the rest of the team have to quarantine? Now listen, every time this has happened to us, we've probably had three cases in the last year of um, when COVID entered a team and it was dealt with very differently depending on where you are okay if you are based at Jakara in the camp and one of you gets covid then that person is isolated until they're better and the rest of the camp carry on because you're a tight bubble you carry on doing all your project work but you don't really make you don't mix with the communities you don't really mix you don't what am i saying don't really you don't mix outside your bubble but we try in every every way we can to keep the show on the road okay so just we will the decisions get made when we see where you are and what the dynamics at that time are but to be honest the bigger risks from a health and safety point of view to you lot is dehydration and the simple cut dehydration really really it funny enough feels like um covid gets splitting headache aching joints aching bones, temperature, you feel terrible, okay? And you can't believe that that is just due to dehydration. And it's not just a matter of drinking water, it's getting the salts and the sugars into your body. And this often happens to two or three leapers in the first week of every trip because it is hot, it is really sweaty. And to be honest, one isn't used to doing hard graft labor in the midday sun in that environment. So you've got to be very, very mindful. Cuts to the simple cut in the heat and humidity is not going to heal like it does at home. 
it doesn't and you've really got to keep an eye on it because what happens is it cuts the infection goes down inside into your leg and it can be a disaster so every cut i want you pounced on covered up savlon whatever it is you you've got to take a really good you know little medical kit with stuff for cuts for dehydration for a dodgy stomach just um you know some vitamins if you're a rubbish eater and you're a you're a um a picky eater you're not going to really relish the the kind of the pintos and beans and you know the kind of and fish and all this you know just be mindful with how best you're going to look after yourself okay enough of that team dynamics okay oh, i know you're all getting tired you probably can kind of switch off and then switch back on but team dynamics you are heading off with a team either kind of 20 24 depending on which group you're in of people that you've invariably never met before from all different walks of life from all over England and beyond, okay? It's all part of the challenge. Now, a lot of you might have had friends that have done this before and they've just told you about the partying at Santa Teresa or, you know, the fun that they've had. Yes, you are going to have great fun, okay? But it is all about the team. You're gonna to learn to work with this team, look after each other and um, read the room, basically read the room look at each other you know if someone is not you know feeling it feeling tired look after them if they're feeling a bit out and they're not they're not a strong you know strong character try and draw them in you know this is really important especially in week one week one is of the first most challenging week for you all as you all integrate and find your place within the team um so this is where huge sensitivity is required, okay? When it comes to rules, this is not a school trip, okay? It is not, you're not going to be breathed down your neck by teachers saying you've got to be in at 10 o'clock, but you have got to be respectful, yes, to the team and to the fact that we want you up in the morning to do the jobs, you know, to contribute and not be hungover, especially on the scuba lot. If you turn up hungover, you won't be able to scuba. It is that simple. If you turn up and you, well, if you don't turn up for the Spanish lessons because you can't be bothered, you know, it's just rude. It's just rude for those Spanish teachers that have come in. So it's really, you've got to, you've got to work hard and play within reason, okay? Weekends, great, but during the week, just be mindful of what the program is all about. It's about contributing, it's about the team, it's about having fun together. It's not about hardcore raving parties every, every single night. So just, you know, listen. And again, listen to local knowledge, especially when you're in Santa Teresa. You know, we don't want you going to these illegal raves which are put on along the beach. Listen, listen, listen to what the leader's advice is. They're giving it to you for a reason. Okay. I'm just looking at my list. Bear with me two minutes. Oh, I didn't really want to end on that note, giving you a pep talk about how to behave because I know you're all gorgeous kids and you're all gonna behave nicely. But I'm a mother of a teenage boy, exactly your age, and I know exactly how him and his friends would behave. And actually last year, when everybody was out of lockdown, got to Costa Rica, they all went off like a rocket. And um, they were quite hard to, to manage. So it's, it's getting much better now because you haven't, you're not being released out of lockdown. Um, okay, so I think that is it for now. Um, clearly, one last thing, okay? If any of you are on the waiting list thinking, I've booked on for adventure, but actually I really want plastic oceans, then hold fire because Liv and just tell Liv and Zoe that you're doing that. So don't book your flights, okay? Just hold fire on the admin until you might move across to the right team, the team you want to be on. Um, my final thing, Pharos, okay? Da, da, da. I always forget about this. If you are going independently traveling afterwards, 
I strongly recommend that you join Pharos. Now you will find the details in the insurance section of your My Leap. They are brilliant. It's run by friends of ours. It is a 24-7 emergency rescue service. So it's having the equivalent, when you're on your programme, you've got us, you know, and you've got the team leaders. But when you're travelling independently, yes, you can call us when you're in Guatemala because we've got contacts there or in Colombia, Peru. But if you're going to Mexico or Belize or Panama, I can't help you. I don't have any contacts there. But Pharos does. They are brilliant. 24-7, ex-military. They are used to getting people out of trouble. They did it last year for us. They are awesome. So it's about parents. I would be just doing this, if you can, just doing it. It's about 140 quid for the year. And with a leap, well, that's with the leap discount, which is about 40 quid. So follow the link in my leap. That will give you the discount immediately. But I, I, I would just do that and hope you never have to use it, but it's there in the background, should something go wrong. But it's not, okay, happy days, we've done this, we've been working through the last 12 months, we've seen it all, we've got people diverted from one country to the other, when red lists kind of came crashing down, everything looks calm now, but if something does go wrong, we're here to help, and here to navigate the ever-changing complex world. Okay, so love you and leave you. Have a lovely time. And um, yeah, goodbye. Over and out. <laughs>